today is my first day here and uh, this is kind of new to me, so let me know what kind of things you want to see. The previous tenant left a few things here and I'm going to check, uh, see what they have. Looks like they left a whole NVR system. So these security cameras, there's four of them and there's a uh, little NVR box back there. Seeing what I can reuse because uh, yeah, my budget for this is not immense. So it looks like these are all Hikvision cameras. So I've been already talking with an architect. The plan is to have this be office space up here in the front, and this will be a studio space. We're gonna build a special wall that's kind of a sound wall that'll block out extra sound. There's a place over here that can get kinda loud, and there's a place over here that uh, can get kinda loud, but not too loud. So we wanna make sure that the studio space is well insulated from that sound. A lot of the ceiling is gonna go uh, you can see there's a metal roof up here. So what we're going to do is take out the ceiling grid in the studio space and build a special sound isolating ceiling portion here. This back room back here, this door is going to go. We're going to be moving it over here. And this is going to be a little server closet. Well, actually kind of a big server closet because the storinator is going to go in here along with a lot of other rack mount equipment. There's a nice empty electrical panel. This will be a lot more full by the time that we are uh, kind of hum along in the space. There's a wonderful little bathroom and a clean out sink. Uh, but I need to get a few things set up today. I have a little rolling cart for the bathroom and cleaning supplies and a little rolling cart that I'm going to be putting stuff on as I bring stuff over here because we're going to do some construction. So I can't put a lot of stuff in here yet. Unfortunately, right now there's no fiber. There's just this coax line. So part of the reason I'm here today is the internet installer is going to be coming by and we're gonna get that uh, coax lit up so that we'll have 35 megabits upload. It's, it's not nothing. Also, fuel for the day. Grab my Diet Dr. Pepper. And of course, I got the wrong size trash bags. I think I got the 30 gallon, but I need the 50 gallon contractor bags. Oops. The bathroom needs a little bit of work too. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, that aerator is a little busted. There is a new toilet. It looks like they left a few more bits of this uh, wall hanging stuff. I'm, I'm gonna put pegboards up so this stuff is gonna go. And yeah, it looks like there's a few more bits. There's an ADT box up there. There's an ADT camera, but I'm gonna get going on getting the bathroom up to speed and clean it up a little bit. And I'll keep doing this until uh, the guy comes to install internet. It looks like <laughs> sweep front and back. Some of the spiders were making their home over here. We're gonna take care of those too. Sorry, spiders. You have to find a new place. Clap, clap, something like that. I don't know. The Spectrum guys came by, they put this in, everything worked. There was a little bit of an issue on the line, but they went out there and reconnected everything. They left this long cable so that I can run it uh, up and over here where the servers will go someday. But anyway, that's up. I don't have it plugged into anything yet, but I did pop a little UPS on here to clean up the power a little bit and give me backup power. And I'm trying to get this uh, NVR system online. So I plugged in my 144 Hertz gaming display and it actually works. There's 
there's a camera up here and there's the three out there. They're all working and it looks like it's recording and here's the, uh, the plugs that go back to it. But I don't have the password and it looks like Hikvision have some sort of, uh, it's not easy to reset these things. So I'm gonna try to find a way to reset this board. It doesn't look like there's any kind of reset switch. It's funny, this is like a little SBC inside of here. I guess a custom one. It might even be running ARM. I don't see any way to reset it. That could make things a little difficult. I do want to get uh, NVR running. If I can't get this box running, I will, you know, I'll bring, I'll bring a Raspberry Pi and get something running, maybe with Frigate. I was hoping to do that as a video, but I might need to do it for real life, you know, right now, just so I can get this uh, camera system running. But I don't want to put things back here to store them until I have security. Anyway, that's where I am now. I've been cleaning. I cleaned off this table. Uh, I'm starting to put together a few more things and back here I'm going to start putting a couple things for storage. I'll wrap them up in plastic so that they don't get all dirty. And uh, that's about it. I cleaned up most of the bathroom. I got to clean up a little bit more. Really I should say thank you. Oh boy the lighting here is terrible. Let's try that again. Then I'll do a like that. That actually worked. Okay so anyway. <laughs> I think I had a spider web in my mouth. Thank you so much to everybody who supported this channel on Patreon, on GitHub sponsors, on YouTube memberships. You can join by clicking the little join button down there. You might have noticed I have a few more sponsorships on the videos that I've been posting lately and that's because you know these things cost a lot of money. Also you know taking a trip to the UK costs a lot of money. Doing all these different projects I'm working on costs enough money that I've, I've needed to take a couple extra sponsorships on my videos. You know I'm very excited to have this new space. It's 1,200 square feet and you know I, I went over to the UK and I talked to uh, a, a few different creators there and uh, it's you know having that much space it seems like not much space if you compare it to something like Linus Tech Tips but that's a company with 100 people or however many. Uh, when, when you're an individual creator having 1,200 square feet is a very big privilege and I'm, I'm so happy to have it and also hopefully to share it with my dad uh, for the Gearling Engineering channel. Lots of great stuff coming up. Make sure you're subscribed. And uh, again, let me know down in the comments what kind of things you'd like to see about the space, about the build. Let me know. And until next time, I'm Jeff Gearling.